Good afternoon. My name is Bernard English. I want to welcome you here this afternoon to the home of the late Joseph Robert Smallwood, who was one time Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador for over 20 years. The reason why we're here this afternoon, we want to wish a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to Mrs. Smallwood, who was 91 years of age, October past. My affiliation with Joe Smallwood and this family goes back many, many years. Being here is certainly a pleasure for me and to people that I have with me. The idea came to mind about a few weeks ago when I thought of my old friend, Joe Smallwood, and the legacy that he left to me as a young man. My first being here, I was 16 years of age. Uh, that time has elapsed and has done wonderful things to me, and I'm sure as my future unfolds, uh, a lot more will come to light of that first meeting over 20 years ago. I would like now to introduce you to Bill Smallwood, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Smallwood, and the lady who for many years, and to Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, was not probably publicized as much. She was not visible uh, to uh, the viewing public. She was very dear and very visible in the heart of Joe Smallwood himself and played a magnificent role uh, in the politics, the music, and the song, and the raising of a family. And I hope that the music we bring today will be a, a source of enjoyment to a woman who has lived a ripe old age and has aged like fine wine. Uh, she was not always in the limelight, but I suppose at many times she probably didn't care to be, and she had uh, to the duties of raising a family uh, and other things that that uh, kind of thing takes into account. And I'm sure that you can share with me just in a few moments of what it was like to be the son of the Premier of Newfoundland and uh, to have to uh, work and live and grow in that kind of atmosphere. Could you share with me now just maybe a little of what it was really like? Of course, being the, uh, being the son of the Prime Minister of Newfoundland was uh, unusual to say the least. Mm -hmm. He didn't lead a normal life, and of course he didn't live a normal life. Uh, always busy. He worked till 12 o'clock, especially in, the, uh, in, 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 in about the first 10 years when we lived down at Canada House. His office was mm -hmm. right in the house itself. And he'd go to work, he'd be in the office 9 o'clock in the morning, come in, have his lunch, immediately back there, come in, have dinner, go back again until about 12 o'clock at night. Sure. And that went on for at least 10 years. Anyone who wished just could come and knock on the door and come on in. And that's the way it was. Now, as for your coming here today, it's really our pleasure because the last time you were here, of course, it wasn't last year when my father died just before Christmas, but in 1990, mm -hmm. we all had a glorious time with the group you brought. Yeah, we had a grand time we, for we sure. We really did, and my father enjoyed it. And really sorry, you know, when it finished. Mm -hmm. And I know I kept, we kept waiting for an extra half hour because my father loved the music so much and my mother. This and is Ray, really, really Ray Johnson, yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. Ray, why don't you join us just for a second? Uh, like you were saying, uh, Ray is <laughs> certainly gifted. He really is. Uh, with the uh, music and uh, his teaching and his writings and uh, very soon he's going to have a, uh, a book that's coming out. Well, I didn't expect the Christmas season we'd bring this out in the open. But it's true, I, I am uh, compiling a book on the history and story and picture song of Newfoundland and Labrador. And I think those topics, those sections speak for themselves and uh, hopefully when the, it does come out, people will appreciate the thing I've done. Not just from me, or my point of view, but to see themselves in this particular book or environment, if you will. Uh, I, I feel with a group look I'm part of now with Buddy Watson and the other fellas, 
uh, the part I do in the show, uh, the, the response for it is so great that I think now that I put it in, in book form, I think it's going to be appreciated more and more by the, the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. And I think, Raymond, looking at what you've, uh, listening to what you've just said, the young man sitting next to you, which you uh, just earlier uh, had introduced me to, maybe you should tell me, uh, or tell us a little bit of, of how you met this young man and what he's, he's doing. Okay. That, that's caught your eye, your interest. Well, I appreciate you um, giving me the time to say that as well as to share that uh, it's not always Ray Johnson who wants to be in the limelight. It's my motto in life is to share what I have with others and vice versa. And Kenneth Butt is one of those people I like to share what I have. And I'm hoping he will be able to share the, the wonderful singing he's going to share with us today with me and other people throughout my lifetime. Uh, Kenneth I met uh, about a month ago at yes. the studio of uh, Sid Butt now set up in Carbonair, and um, I heard him actually do a number of hymns, if you like, songs, and I, at first, the first two lines when he opened his mouth seemed to indicate that this young man had talent, and when he was finished, it was just a, a clap by all mm -hmm. people who were there in attendance. Well, how how do you feel uh, about having the opportunity to uh, do this sort of thing, and, and what would be your projections uh, in any future aspirations that you would like to see happen uh, to the music and to the students who would want to have the opportunity to learn this sort of thing? Well, I will start off by saying that I am very happy to be here today, and I hope that uh, Mrs. Smallwood will receive a great deal of pleasure from my singing and from all our performances. Yes. It is my hope that more uh, young people like myself will get the opportunity to be heard. Um, it's great that we are acknowledged as musicians in our own communities and that, but we really need to go beyond our own communities to bring our music our gift to other communities, yes. to other people, okay. and certainly even in our being here today, we are bringing our gifts to other people. I think that was very well put, and I'm sure that it uh, even goes without saying that you, uh, we wish you uh, that, we wish that this will certainly materialize, and that uh, the people who uh, may, may have the chance to view this uh, will certainly share in those aspirations. I want to thank you, Kenneth, for coming along. Thank you very and, much. And uh, accepting our invitation. And of course, I want to thank Ray. Thank you, Bob. And I want to thank Bill for inviting us into his home today. And I believe now it's time that we pay tribute to Clara Smallwood, the lady behind the man who brought this province of the last living father into confederation and this is our gift to her and her family and to our viewers that you may now sit down, relax, and enjoy. It is our gift wishing one and all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And join us now in a tribute to Mrs. Smallwood.